So it looks like the month is going to open with Queen of Swords for you. Queen of Swords um, can mean two things. It can mean an air sign, which is um, Libra or Aquarius or Gemini. Or it can represent you in terms of speaking your truth, being honest about something, saying what's on your mind. Um, Queen of Swords is a card of mastery of the mental element. The swords represent air, which represents the mind. So she's really clear with where she's coming from mentally and what she has to say and what she wants to express. She uses her words carefully and she can be very direct. Um, so it's either that someone is showing up for you in the Queen of Swords archetype. Again, that could be an air sign, um, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Or this could be just you speaking your truth, being very clear and direct with someone. It may be being very clear and direct with yourself or someone else about being done with something. Um, Eight of Cups represents something that you have put a lot of your heart into. Cups represent the heart element. And in this card, Eight of Cups, there's a, the figure is ready to move on from that. They're feeling weary. They're feeling tired. They're ready to start a new journey. So it could be you as Queen of Swords being honest and direct with yourself about the fact that you're ready to move on from something. Or you could be very clear and direct with someone else about, about that you want to move on. Um, and Eight of Cups can be many different things. It can be a lifestyle. It can be a home. It can be a relationship. It can be a job. Anything that you've put a lot of your heart into, you can tell all these Eight Cups have been stacked. It's been something that you've worked a lot at. Um, but it's time to move on. So that is, that's showing up for you at the beginning of the month. I'm also seeing Knight of Swords. Um, so this could be, you know, interestingly, Knight of Swords and Queen of Swords go together. Um, it's not King of Swords, so it's not a couple necessarily, but, um, this could be like a, a son to the Queen of Swords. Um, and that shows that he's moving on. This could be a separation of a mother and son dynamic. You see the queen, you see this moving on card, and then you see the knight. Um, and it could be that he's pursuing a new job. That That's all interpretations of this. Also, potentially, this knight of swords is someone who thinks like you and is willing to stand up for you and defend your cause. So, for example, if there's something that you want to move on from, this knight could be instrumental and helpful in helping you achieve that because they understand where you're coming from. They're willing to defend the same thoughts or the same philosophy. Um, these two people are very, very invested in the truth. So they're, she's willing to stand up and declare the truth and he's willing to fight for it. So that's happening for you at the beginning of the month, Sagittarius. Um, it looks like someone's moving on from something, whether that's the queen or the knight. There's definitely someone stepping away from what has been established. And it looks like someone may be pursuing a new job. Um, it looks potentially like that knight could be. Page of coins represents having optimism about new money coming in. It means having a willingness to receive new money. So it usually, I sometimes call this card a job offer or um, something where you're pursuing new money. It's in the reverse position. So it's saying it's saying that it's not going to come about as soon and as quickly as you might like to. For example, if this air person is wanting to go off and create a fortune, it may not happen as quickly as um, one had hoped, but it's, it's still showing up there. It's still available. Another possibility is that this could be an earth sign. So Taurus... Capricorn or Virgo, this could be the second son of this woman, and they're both leaving. Um, they're say they're both going off to college, or um, this could even be a daughter. Page pages often represent um, it could be a young person, sometimes a son, but sometimes a daughter or another young person. Um, it it's possible that this could be a husband leaving with his son. So there's all those things represented here. These are all court cards. So this can sometimes relate to the family, uh, the queen with the knight with a page. Um, this could be an air sign and this could be an earth sign. So there's something, some kind of breakup of this unit. If you're in a unit of three people and there's a female, a male, and a younger male, something's going on. Someone might be leaving the scene at the beginning of February. 
Um, this card is Eight of Swords, and this card means victim mentality and um, feeling powerless. I see, you know, in this card, it might feel like from this person leaving, um, we see the same red cloak here, and it could be feeling tragic and powerless from if someone has left, um, feeling like you don't have any choice about anything anymore. But in this card, I always point out that these swords are thoughts, and it's really just your thoughts that are holding you in that victim mentality or feeling stuck. She has the power to cut the binds on any of these swords, take off her blindfold, and walk away at any time. She is the person who's remaining in the house. She, you see this castle behind her, and she's just feeling powerless, but she's actually not powerless. That's the lesson of this card, is that at any time we have power and control over ourselves, it may just... It may be our limiting thoughts and beliefs um, as represented by these swords that feel like they're surrounding us, but we, we always have a way out, and you can see that in this card. If you can get past that, there's success for you. This is Six of Wands. This means triumph, success. Even it can be someone coming in to save the day, someone coming in on that white horse. It also means status and acclaim. So those are all meanings of six of wands. So it looks like you are going to get through it. You might need some help. Um, one way out of it, too, is to not be so concerned about what other people think. This card is Hanged Man. And he has his own way of doing everything, um, which is which really works for him. And he finds enlightenment in getting a new perspective. He hangs upside down, and he finds comfort in it, even though it's very unconventional. And the rest of the world is kind of looking at him and saying, "No, that's that's not how things are normally done. What are you doing? You're upside down." But sometimes a new, fresh perspective is what will allow you to achieve this success. Because these two cards are showing up together, I'm going to say that walking your own path, seeing things from a new perspective, is how you're going to become enlightened about things, have the success that this card shows, especially in relation to any limiting or powerless beliefs or feelings that you're experiencing. If you're feeling devastated by something in the middle of the month, potentially related to what's going on up here, try looking at things from a fresh perspective. Maybe even go on a vacation or go somewhere else. Um, and you may feel like that rescues you. Or you may meet someone who comes in and saves the day for you. Um, you are going to experience a lot of renewal, I can tell, from this card. This is judgment, which is leaving all the ghosts of the past behind. Um, and again, it's interesting that this shows a family unit. It shows a man, a woman, and a child. And this card is all about forgiveness and letting go of the past. So if there's something that has been keeping you confined... Um, or feeling powerless in the middle of the month, get a new perspective. You're going to feel tremendous renewal. You're going to feel, this is Phoenix energy. This is like spiritual fire that burns everything that's in the past, like letting go of old grudges, because it is such a card of forgiveness and letting go and um, renewal of spirit. Towards the end of the month, I see that you have um, Hermit here. This is a card of really looking at the truth of the matter of things. This is someone who goes up and away uh, from the rest of the world and is willing to cast off all the comforts and pleasures of the world to find out what is actually the truth. And interestingly, because this card follows these other two, um, all three of these cards are kind of similar. They're all very enlightened cards. The hangman gets enlightenment by doing things his own unique way. Um, judgment creates creates newness, enlightenment, and um, new life through forgiveness and the spiritual fire of letting things go. And then the hermit is very consumed and interested in um, what's going on, what's true, what is, wh what is the bottom line of the matter. So I'm seeing that towards the second, the second two thirds of February, you're going to have an opportunity to separate yourself off from the rest of society. Again, I think, I think like a retreat so seems good for you, Sagittarius, to get to this point of forgiveness and see things as they really are. That's what hermit energy is all about. Um, towards the end of the month, 
This is King of Wands, which does represent Sagittarius. It could also be Leo or Aries. If you're not feeling fully yourself, because this is in the reverse position, if you're not feeling sunny and vibrant like King of Rods usually is, and confident and bold, surround yourself with people who are like-minded. This is a card, um, Three of Cups is celebration. It's a card of friends and family. It's a card of like parties and social events. And it's a card of just people who support you. So if you are feeling cut off, if you're feeling a little isolated, like hermit sometimes can because it's showing um king of of rods in the reverse position which can very likely be sag which could be you um just not feeling all all the way yourself hang around some people maybe it's even people from work emperor can represent um authority and structure and um our workplace and three of cups can be co-workers just friends and family or like-minded people all these people here at the end of the month are going to help you feel more yourself. They're going to help you embody the success card that is showing up for you. They're going to help you turn things around. It's possible that this may not be you. could be another fire sign like Leo or Aries. But if there is any conflict with yourself or with someone else who's a fire sign, look to look to this. I'm seeing this as workplace because I'm seeing this as the boss and I'm seeing this as all coworkers or friends. So enjoy the people who are around you, especially if you're feeling isolated in any way or that, you know, something that you were participating in broke up. Um, if you feel isolated or, or um, just held by certain ways of thinking that you feel powerless, know that you have a lot of opportunity for success and enlightenment. You may just need to take some time out from other people um, to get that clarity and then spend time with people who are like-minded to remind you of who you are. So I'm seeing both a need to spend time by yourself and then to spend time with people who you already know. That's going to give you um, a tremendous amount of uplifting. So I hope you enjoyed that Sagittarius. That's my reading for you for February. Um, I also have some specials going on for February in my relationship readings of 20% off. And I'll tell you a little bit about that in the next segment. Um, I just want to thank all of you for watching. Yours in the stars.